Today on the Guitar Slinger Hockey Channel, we have the new Bauer Bummer. Stick around. Okay, in today's video, uh, you can obviously tell from the title, I'm not super impressed with the stick, but it might not be for the reasons you're thinking about. So today I am going to give you the, uh, the performance that I observed as well as um, why I'm kind of referring to the stick as a bummer. Um, and, you know, obviously this is just one man's opinion of the stick and your mileage always will vary. So the haters going to hate. If they don't like what I'm saying in this video, totally fine, whatever. Uh, but, you know, I bring this up because this stuff is expensive. Everything that's hockey gear is expensive. Even the cheapest of the cheap hockey equipment is expensive. We all play an expensive sport. It's just, you know, it might not be golf, but it is an expensive sport, even if you want the cheapest used stuff that exists. So, um, what I'll talk about in this video, again, is the performance that I experienced um, I'll talk about the durability, what I think of what I think the stick is, and what I think the stick is not. So let's kind of start off with what I think the stick is and what it is not. Okay, so what I have here is your basic Bauer Proto, and I have the old school Bauer Nexus Geo here, as you will recall from the lovely lime green color and the blue. So uh, the Bauer Proto, clearly not a Geo. Um, also, the Bauer Proto is not a sink. So I've heard some people say that it is more or less a lightweight Bauer sink. Uh, that's not been my experience. I've had, obviously, this, this Geo has been around since probably the 1980s. Uh, it's been around forever. It's been holding up, although the blade is kind of uh, breaking down on this one. Um, the, the, the Bauer sink, not really... The same from what I recall, um, I had a sink for a short period of time in between these two sticks. Um, this is so, this is not the same. So, if you think it is, I'm just gonna set that off the side here. Definitely not the same as the Bauer Proto. Probably doesn't take a rocket Scientologist to figure that out. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously we got the big thing that everybody talks about is there are square corners. Yay, finally we have square corners on a Nexus stick. Which brings me to what this is also not. This, in my opinion, is not a 2N Pro. I've heard some people say that it is a lightweight 2N Pro. Um, I don't think the 2N Pro felt the same to me, um, and nor did I have the expectations that it would. Very old technology compared to very new technology, right? So this is a lot lighter weight of a stick. Um, you know, briefly I'll touch on the performance here. Yes, this shoots better than the 2N Pro. Uh, what I will say about the 2N Pro um, in comparison to this, I think the 2N Pro is actually a little bit more uh, user friendly than this one was, and this will outshoot the 2N Pro all day long if you uh, uh, know how to shoot. However, I do recall the 2N Pro, and it's it's been a couple of years, you know, pre-pandemic since I owned one, but uh, they. I felt like it was your lower hand placement on the 2N Pro was a lot more forgiving than what it is on uh, the the Proto or R here. So that's something to keep in consideration. So it's not a Geo, it's not a Sync, and it is not a 2N Pro with the exception of the grip. I don't think anybody had that expectation that it would be. I didn't have the expectation that this was going to be some sort of 2N Pro throwback, um, it, unless you just want to look at the the fact that it's got the like the four normal hockey stick sides that everybody prefers um, more so than the five sides of the Geo and the Sync. Because I don't think I don't really know anybody who prefers the five sides over a traditional shape shaft like this. Um, the the Seattle Kraken players in my area, when they when you see them with their Nexus Sync, Sync sticks, they're all four sided. There there are none of the five sided ones that I've seen. Um, the people that do use the the Nexus Geo and the Sync, 
uh, around my area, they they either don't like the five sides or they really can't tell a difference because they don't have a lot of experience with other types of sticks. Um, but, you know, that's kind of where it ends. So um, this is... I could see where Bauer was going with this from a standpoint of like saying that there are some elements of the 2N Pro. So I guess I would say that it's probably closest related to that stick. But again, completely different materials, as you guys know. Uh, I won't insult your intelligence with, uh, you know, telling you guys what you know and you don't know. So uh, it's just a different stick, which is uh I, I just wanted to dispel the myth that it's just a lightweight uh 2n pro or a up improved lightweight version of a, of a bower sink they're not they shoot differently um so let me get a little bit into the performance of this stick next so hang hang tight for that okay so let's get into the performance of the stick so first off i usually get people telling me that i suck at shooting and, and playing hockey in general and that's true I do beer league hockey videos, so <laughs> of course I'm a duster, but I can tell the difference between um, sticks and skates and all that kind of stuff just because I have used a lot of them. So when we talk performance, you know, grain of salt it. Uh, I will, again, defer to telling you my experience with it since I've used so many of them and I used to be a huge Nexus guy. Um, so, you know, grain of salt it. So performance, uh, starting off with uh, puck feel and stick handling, those sort of things. Um, I really, really liked how the puck felt when passing and receiving hard passes. There is just zero trouble as to where the puck is on your blade. It, it was pro It's probably one of the best sticks on the market that I've seen so far that uh, with regard to puck feel. Uh, I really liked it a lot. I'm not sure if there's anything out there that's better than it. Um, love it. Nothing else to say about that. When it comes to um, the types of shots, like wrist shots, uh, like sweeping wrist shots where you really load the stick up, it has a dart. It's really good. Uh, what I will say is that it is. it does require your lower hand to be um, properly placed. Um, it, and yes, I know that most sticks require proper placement of um, your hands. However, this one seems to be a little bit finicky, um, like the, the sink before it, as well as the geo. And those are not necessarily that finicky in general. It's more, it's mostly that, um, I've noticed that the more recent Nexus lines, geo, Nex, uh, sync, and then the proto here are a little bit more particular than the lineage, like the 2N Pro that I was talking about, the, the Nexus 8000, um, the 1N, those, those sticks like that, uh, a little more forgiving. That said, the Proto R is much more forgiving, in my opinion, than the, the Sync and the Geo. Um, I have been told that the reason could possibly be the fact that the Proto only has four sides to it, whereas the Sync and the Geo obviously have the fifth side. So basically it twists, it, the, the Proto will twist a little bit in your hands, um, whereas the Sync and the, the Geo will not. Um, so I don't know if that's a real thing, but I, I definitely could feel the fact that uh, it was a lot easier to load and be accurate with the Proto um, than those predecessor sticks. When it came to snapshots, I think it was better at snapshots than it was uh, wrist shots, in my opinion. Um, slappers and one-timers, uh, I actually, this is just my own skill level, I think, but I don't think I really liked it that much for slappers and one-timers. Um, I think that ma the majority of the goals that I scored with this stick uh, were deflections, um, tap-ins. There weren't really any snipes. I think I maybe had like one snipe with the with the stick, with a wrist shot. Um, but there wasn't really... I, I It was mostly just kind of grinding it out, hard work type of goals. Um, and being a rec hockey league player, I don't like I don't like grinding out or working at all. I prefer to stand, you know, knees locked and coasting around the ice and not breaking a sweat, as you all probably know. 
So, um, but that, that's what I would say about it. There weren't really any kind of like amazing goals that I got with this stick compared to other ones that I've used and other ones that I'm currently using. So that's just me probably. Um, backhands, those were great. Those were fine. Um, but it, it can shoot. It's got, it's got a really good shot. Um, if you're used to, if you really like the stick, like the, uh, you know, Nexus style sticks, this could only be an improvement for you, I'm sure. Um, I love it, especially for that stick handling. Um, but it performs really, really well. So it, it did meet my expectations on, I think, everything except for the slap shots and the one-timers, which, again, surprised me. But, you know, what are you going to do? So um, let's go into the uh, next category of durability. And this kind of goes into my, uh, you know, saying that this is the Bauer Bummer stick. So let's get into that. Okay, durability. Let's talk about this one for, uh, you know, two to three hours. So this is a topic that I feel like I hear a lot of different opinions about it. And people's expectations seem to vary wildly about um, how long a top-end hockey stick should last. I think one of the most common ones I hear are people are relating the price of the stick for how long it should last and people have some pretty unreasonable expectations, in my opinion. Um, I have personally learned that if I get 45 days out of a top-end stick playing men's rec hockey, that that's actually a pretty good baseline for me personally. But I feel like there's a lot of people who, you know, they spend money on top-end stick to play rec hockey, and they say, you know, I'm only playing rec hockey. I'm not that hard on my sticks. This should, this stick should last between, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years at minimum. If I'm going to spend $200 on a stick, they don't even have the right price. These sticks are like $360 US. Um, <laughs> so they don't even have that part right. But their expectations are, you know, they're from maybe using a wood stick back in the day. I don't know. But it's, it's just a very wildly... Um, wild differences on how long people think sticks should last. So I, I know, like I said, in my case, 45 days for like an AS4 Pro Super Tax. Um, but unfortunately, the Proto um, didn't last that long. So in my particular case, I played one one hour long pickup game, and then I played a tournament that was consisted of four 20 minute long games. Uh, before the blade blew out on me. So right now I'll kind of give you an example. And we're going to have to listen quietly for this one um, as to what in particular, oh man, I'm just destroying the ceiling in my house. Um, what exactly is going on here, but we'll be real quiet and listen. Did you hear it? So that is the sound of a blade that is already toast. So some of you may say, you know what, that blade's not broken. You could use that for at least another two to five years. You know, <laughs> joking, obviously. But here's, here's the deal. If you were to go and take this stick into your local place that buys used hockey sticks, like a Play It Again Sports or whatever you have, or if you were to try to sell this on Sideline Swap, something like this, and you say, it's not broken, that blade's fine. You tell me, are they going to take the stick in and say, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's not, you know, they're going to try to give you like $6 for this stick and say, you know what, we're not going to, if they even take it from you. So that stick is considered to be broken if you were to try to sell it. And so it's a broken stick. So unfortunately, that's the deal. And I could immediately notice that too when I, when I uh, got under the ice and tried to use it. It took like all of my power to shoot with the stick. And I noticed that because I shoot right-handed, puck's sailing off wide right of the net. Um, and it's just it's just toast. And it's not the only stick that that's happened to uh, in that very same tournament. And I really feel bad about this too because this stick was actually a gift that somebody got for me. And my buddy, um, who's a big Nexus fan, he loves the sink, um, he... You know, by the way, both of his sinks, they the blades, same thing with his sink. And then in that same tournament, he played with me. He bought two of these protos for himself and one for me. And uh, he experienced the same thing on his. And I'm going to roll in a picture now. 
Okay, so as you can see here, the toe is pretty much demolished on his blade. Um, now, I feel like he may have gotten one more game out of his stick before this happened, so I believe he probably got a chance to uh, use it in two games prior to us playing that tournament together. I think this happened in the tournament, if I'm not mistaken, that same one that happened to me. So, um, you know, this is, I, I think he's since tried to uh, do some sort of glue epoxy to hold it together because his blade wasn't squeaky and mushy like mine. It was more of just the fact that the toe, well, you can see what it looks like. So this is kind of like what you're getting from a durability standpoint. Uh, the other thing I'll note too, I believe Justin from the uh, Beer League Bum Hockey Reviews channel, I believe his protos lasted around eight games. So there seems to be some consistency with how quickly these quickly these are breaking down and just straight up breaking. Um, and so that's kind of where we're at with the durability on these sticks is what it's seeming like. Um, so I don't know, grain of salt it. Okay, so let's wrap this video up. So from a performance standpoint, I did really like the Proto. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but I was actually kind of using this uh, this example, this, this stick, to kind of see if I liked the stick overall because I was considering uh, ordering a custom version just so I could try a different curve that Bauer offers on their custom, custom site. Um, and I wanted to see how long I was going to get, how long this stick would last before... Um, before breaking to see if it was worth going custom. Unfortunately, as we can see uh, from my case, my buddy's case who bought me the stick and from what Justin told me, um, you know, we have a six to eight week wait for a custom Bauer stick and we're talking about maybe five games for me um, to of durability so that's just not worth it obviously so in my particular case even to buy a retail model i wouldn't spend the 360 dollars if i was to go buy another one of these which is a bummer um it performed really well i like the stick love the feel of the blade it was really really good um i if you want to buy one of these sticks for yourself um i get the impression that it might be more durable than the agent um I have used the agent, Justin let me try it out when we were doing a stick testing video. I did really like the agent stick, but the Proto I think plays better for my style of game. Um, I've heard that the Proto is maybe a little bit more tested for durability than the agent was, which is uh, a little scary to hear if that's actually true. So if you want to give it a rip, you know, go give it a rip, see if you like it. Maybe you'll get one that lasts longer. Um, but uh, I probably won't be buying another one of these sticks again. Um, and I, again, I feel bad that <laughs> my buddy got this for me as a gift and it's broke so soon. So bummer, but we did like it. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you. And other than that, peace.